Hello, Scrabble here. This time I have a quick look for Kid Trip on the Nintendo Switch. It's this one right here. As you can see, it looks like a very charming thing. I understand it's a pretty pixelated 2D platformer. And I've heard good things. It was on sale on the eShop for a dollar. And why not, right? I actually heard good things about another game from this company, uh, Miles and Kilo. And Kid Trip kind of came before that. So I figured I'd check out Kid Trip. Miles and Kilo, I think, is on for 10 bucks right now, at least 10 bucks Canadian. Kid Trip! We got, uh, let's see here, tutorial, new game, level select, challenges, records, options, credits, controls, we got HD rumble, type running, hardcore. I see, hardcore does not let us walk, or custom, that's okay. Walking, running, hardcore, all right. Throw and run. We have jumping and throwing stones. Why, or uh, like, why to jump and B to throw stones? That seems backwards to me. But we'll see how it goes. Records, no records. Challenges. Okay, so challenges are achievements. Earn a gold medal everywhere. This could be quite difficult to do. Uh, complete the game with more coins than Mick Waits. 3266. Six. I don't know who Mick Waits is, but sure. Complete the game without ever walking. Complete the game using no more than one stone, so you shouldn't even have to use stones. Levels. Okay, we get to like records and stuff there. Let's go tutorial. Ready. Let's do this. Miles will run automatically. All right. Hold left to walk. Yep. Release it to move at the normal movement speed. Tap A to jump. Hold A to jump higher. Tap A to jump. Jump onto baddies and springs. To bounce off of them. Uh, why? Hold A when bouncing to bounce higher. Okay. Tap B to throw stones. Nice work. You can configure the controls in the options. Sure. Complete the tutorial! So we got an achievement. All right, let's check out the levels. Controls seem fairly simple. It's an auto runner, I didn't know that. Oh wait, I wanna go to new game, right? New game, oh, the tutorial option's gone, okay. Well, that's not good. <laughs> got it. I think I want to get the coins. Ah, I missed the coins. Ooh. Do I only take one hit and then I'm dead? Seems likely. Oop. Or one run in the water. This is actually pretty tough. Alright, come on. Rup. Ah, I'm supposed to hold the button there. Oh, come on, monkey. I guess we jump off the monkey to grab the other coins. All right, come on. Oh, we got you, frog. Oh, I wanted to hold... I wanted to hold the button, but I guess I have to do it differently. Hey, one up. The control, like, okay, they're not bounces, but the controls seem a little hard for me to bounce off that spring. I think I gotta jump on the spring and then bounce it. I don't know. This is, uh, interesting. Come on. We got this. I'm holding it, man. I'm holding it. Burp. It's 
It's very hard to jump on these blocks. If you're looking for a challenging game for a dollar, I don't think you can go wrong. Ah! Made it. Ah, oh, I missed one. <laughs> oh, right in the drink. Come on. Come on, kid. We got this. We can do this. Come on, jump. Jump! Jump! Oh, I missed it. Ah! Oh, I guess I can walk there, right? So... I know you can do everything without walking, but that didn't even occur to me. Ah! Oh, the timing's just slightly off there. Oh! Instead of going up there, Game over. Ah, very first level. Very 1-1. One, one. Game over. 11 lives. That just strikes me as funny. There we go. Oh! That one. That one strikes me as pretty hard. Alright, come on! Whoa. Oh, I missed one. Ah, oh, I walked there, it didn't make a difference. Or at least I was holding walk. His movement speed when he's walking is not tremendously different from when he's not walking. There, I decided to try walking. Oh, I guess I got stones too, right? I didn't even consider the fact that I had stones. I gotta throw a stone at the bird. That's not the stone button. That's the stone button, okay. Okay. So, A to jump, X to throw stones. It's all right, we do not live in glass houses. There we go. We did it! That was pretty hard. All right. Make no scrabble, you idiot. This is not hard. Oh no! Saw that coming. Whoop. No! Ah, if I threw a stone, I would have had him. I think there's time trials in the game too. Which probably, like, really hard, considering how much trouble we're having on this now. Oh, I missed the nut. Last time I hit his nut, and I was fine. Gotta get the nut. Gotta get the nut. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, kid trip. I did not expect to be dying like this. I think I just gotta spam the stones. Stones are like easy mode. We gotta spam them up. Ah! Oh, come on, man. Oh, 
I have... Didn't I get past him the very first time? I feel like the very first time I got past that dude. So World 1, I've already continued twice. And I have to be pretty close to the end there. Oh. Huh. How do I stop you from throwing the nut? Right? Like, it's a runner game, so it's really, really hard. I gotta be doing something wrong. I have to be doing something wrong. Like, there needs to be a way to do this that I haven't considered. There we go. We made it! That was the tough part. That one monkey with the nut was the tough part. The way I hadn't considered was jumping. Who, who knew? Whoa! Oh, you can also play this game one-handed, as I've discovered while I'm drinking a coffee. Whoa! Oh, if that's important to you, one-handed gaming. And that sounds silly, but it is important to some people, right? There are disabled gamers, uh, people who have, like, the use of one hand. Oh! Okay. I would like to at least beat one world on this quick look. I ah! I threw a stone, but I didn't get him. Maybe I maybe I could have jumped that different. Yeah! Oh, that was way better. Way better that time. 1-4. Is this the end of World 1? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, I had to jump the crab. I was doing pretty good at that time, though. Maybe I should have killed that monkey earlier. Whew. There is the uh, beat the game with only throwing a single stone challenge. And that one sounds like it would be incredibly difficult. Bop, bop, bop. Oh! Oh, that did not work. That was close, though. It also makes you wonder, like, which stone? Because if the challenge is to beat the game with one, only using one stone, there must be a very specific stone that you need to throw in order to get through the game. I couldn't even begin to make guesses. Whoop. Yeah, is that the end? Did we do it? Did I beat World 1? I did not. Okay. Bop. No! I needed that fish, I think. I think I had to jump off the fish. Oh, maybe I have to kill that frog. And I'd probably be able to kill the frog with or avoid the frog if I walked, would be my guess, but I did not want to walk. Oh! A couple of times, I've done better on my first run than I have on the rest. Oops. 
strikes me as funny, but yeah, you have to jump out now. Got it! Woo! Complete World 1! We did it! Whoa, we go right into World 2. Oh! Okay, bats are like Medusa heads in Castlevania. Uh, speaking of which, I still haven't purchased Bloodstained. That's another game that I need to get. Wait. Classic Castlevania is... That was way easier than World 1. Classic Castlevania is a jam of mine. So it's really kind of offensive to me that I haven't picked it up yet. Whoa! Alright, so far I've been dumb on this level. Whoa! Okay, should I jump lower? Or just rock him. This does remind me a little bit of... Oh, I should have jumped. It does remind me a little bit of classic Wonder Boy, also known as Adventure Island. I played Wonder Boy on the Master System back in the day. And while Wonder Boy was... Oh! Not an auto runner? I'll play a little more. While Wonder Boy wasn't an auto runner, Wonder Boy was a... Definitely a runner, where you'd run and you'd fire off tomahawks. Come on, we can do this. It's funny, this spider has actually given me all of the challenge on this level. Oh, I bet you, if, like, if I had gone faster in the earlier spots, I'm sure the cycles would have been correct. Man, this one spider is like a terrific gatekeeper here. And I can't, his timing makes it really hard to get him with the stone. There we go. Root. Oh, we need that spider. We don't need him to live. We just need him to kill by jumping on top of. Kid Trip is not for the animals. Kid Trip is all about killing animals. This is basically a hunting game. Whoa, missed the balloon. <laughs> oh... If you're looking for a challenge, you could definitely go more wrong than Kid Trip. Oh, come on. Oh, I should have jumped that. Should have jumped it. What? Oh, I got hit on the block that the spider was falling from. That strikes me as crazy. Oh! If you'll notice, I am no longer stuck on this spider, though. Like, I've definitely learned what I need to do here. Oh! That time I didn't get caught on the block, whereas the other times I my jump height was just strong enough to get caught on the block. Timing your button presses. Gold medal! Woo! All coins! Awesome. Timing your button presses on the jumps is actually a challenge. Come 
Come on. Whoa! Okay, so you got a big jump off that guy. Little jump there. Big jump there. Oh! The big jump didn't work so well that time. Big jump there. See, so yeah, maybe no jump, right? Like, you can't get the gold coins if... Oh, no, you... I think there's no way. There's no way, right? You have to... You would have to jump there. Unless the timing is such that it's timed perfectly. Oh! No! Little jump on the balloon. Little jump. Come on! Big jump, big jump, big jump! Big jump! Little jump, little jump. Oh, bigger jump there. Come on. Oh, the challenge. Kid Trip, what are you doing to me, man? Go, 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 go. Whoop. Little jump, little jump, little jump, little jump, little jump. Ah, whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wanted to see if this has a uh, video recording functionality. It does! So this does have video recording functionality, which in my mind is important. Also, keep in mind that the videos you record are 30 seconds in length, and the levels are much smaller than that, so you'd be able to get your runs recorded pretty much perfectly. I don't know that I can jump there. Whoa, there though. That one we gotta jump. Duh. Alright, down we go. Boop. Boop, bop, bop, bop. Oh! That was tough. Still, see, we're figuring it out, we're learning. Whoa! Oh, that was close. Oh, what? Was I just faster that time? Was I slower that time? I wasn't sure what cycle the spiders were going to be in, and that did actually make a difference there. This is weird that I had that down. And now I don't. Oh! I wanna go under that frog. I gotta I gotta beat this level. Bro. I don't know if I will get level two finished. But I would like to finish this particular stage of level two. Two four. Oh! Big jump, big jump off the snail. Little jump. Oh! Oh! One last rat. I think a lot of care went into the level design in this game. Like, you can tell that everything is just so. I did not get all the coins, but I did finish the level. And I'm gonna save that one and put that one up. Whoa! I wasn't expecting minecarts. In fact, I thought that looked like a giant spider at first. 
Huh. I will tell you that I like this. I don't like every game, but uh, this game has its merits. Okay, that one we gotta jump a little earlier. There's also times here where I forget that I am not controlling the run. Huh. I gotta be a little quicker on that one, I think. So many game overs. What? I must have to jump a lot sooner or do a smaller jump. Bigger jump off that guy. Oh, come on! Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> oh, I can't help but laugh. I need a bigger jump there. And some jump there. Oh, not a big jump? Like that big jump tied like timed me right into the spider. I need to jump the spring. That's what I have to do. That spring's killing me. Jump not into the spring. Yeah, I messed that up. Which is funny, because I've been doing it correctly the whole time. Whoa! I think this is a hard one to get all the coins on. Oh, big jump. Big jump there. Game over again. That's two game overs on this stage. Can you do better than me? I believe you could. Oh, and remember, this game is not terribly expensive, right? Like, I bought this for a buck. I can double check how many worlds there are, but... That's unfortunate. Come on. Come on. Oh. Got it! Woohoo! World 2 done. I'll save that one too. No! No World 3. <laughs> We're gonna stop on World 3. That's enough of the game. Oh, no. No World 3. Wow, there's no load times on this whatsoever. So if I look at levels now... Okay, so they're like, no, you didn't get gold medal. No. Collect every coin to earn a gold medal on them. I did get 2-2. Two, two. And if I wanted to look at challenges, just to fall in the water and survive. Oh, can you do that? Complete a level without hurting any bad guys. Oh. Fall off the bottom of the level and survive. Huh. Hold 15 lives, that's gotta be hard. Hold a thousand coins, has to be hard too. Um, there might just be three worlds, right? Because I got world one, world two, world three. That could be it. Uh, fewer than 500 lives, fewer than 100 lives, without using a continue seems bloody hard. 
without losing a life, complete the game using no more than one stone, no walking, uh, faster than Mick Waits. I wonder if Mick Waits is the guy who made this, probably. So yeah, I don't know how much how much game is in Miles and Kilo. There's only three worlds here, so there's not, at least it looks like there's only three worlds, in which case there's not a heck of a lot of stages, but there is a ton of challenge, and I have certainly had a lot of fun in the two worlds that I've done. Um, the third world could be a lot tougher, and if I wanted to complete the challenges on the list, like if that's something for you, um, then then that could be a lot of fun. Otherwise, I mean, like, uh, like I wish there were more. I wish there were more worlds, and I don't know that there's not. But if you look at the achievements, uh, it looks kind of low. The music doesn't get in the way. The graphics are charming. I've enjoyed my time. So, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more quick looks from me, then you can subscribe. I also uh, keep some Let's Plays on the go. Right now I'm doing Enter the Gungeon and occasional Darkest Dungeons. Not as often as I should. And I'm playing The End is Nigh. And when I've done that, I will switch up to another game, which is uh, what I like to do. You can share this video, you can comment on it, I love comments. Thanks again for watching, take care, and I will see you next time.